Okay, so this video is going to be for the deck construction, joist support, and post spacing. Okay, um, as I mentioned before in previous videos, pretty much all the material used to make this deck is going to be two by tens, and as I mentioned previously, real life measurements are one and a half by nine and a half. Now the posts themselves are commonly referred to as four by fours, much like the other wood. Real life measurements are smaller. It's actually three and a half by three and a half. Okay. Um, there's going to be two different lengths that we're going to use. One's going to be eight feet long, and one's going to be seven foot, two and three quarters long. Uh, reason being is there's uh, two different levels of deck, and I'll get into why um, there's going to be different lengths and, and the reasoning behind that. Okay. Uh, now, one thing you want to keep in mind if you go through the instructions is your support beams, which run perpendicular to your, um, your joists, are going to be inset from the edge one foot. And the post should have a four foot spacing. So we're going to start with that. So I'm going to go over to our drawing. I've got a lumber, lumber pile over there. And what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with our posts. Uh, let's see, we're going to go rectangle. I'm going to go three and a half by three and a half inches. Okay. this down eight feet. Now if we go to our literature here, I would like to point something out that this particular measurement is incorrect. It says nine and a quarter, actually nine and a half, because this notch should be made so that your two by ten or your one and a half by nine and a half fits in it perfectly, okay? So we've got a bit of a clerical error there, and uh, just take note of that. So we're going to go in one and a half, and we're going to go up nine and a half. So let's get out our measurement. Or if you want, what we could try and do is we could use our rectangle. We could go 9.5 inches, 1.5 inches, do it like that. Now we'll just push this all the way through. Now the eight foot is going to be used for the higher portion of the deck, and the, uh, the shorter one is going to be used for the lower part. Okay. Now, first thing you want to do is let's come over here. We're going to make a very quick notch. We're going to go in one foot. We're going to make our marker right there. So we've got our guide point. Check our length. If memory serves me correctly, it's going to be 16 feet long. Correct. Okay. So let's go over here. And before we do anything, let's just double check. And there's our 16 footer. Okay, perfect. And we're going to pick that up. And we're going to bring that over here. And we're going to place that. Oh, there we go. Right on the guide point. Same thing over here. One foot. Okay. Let's grab our move option. And okay. There's our guide point. So spacing between these should not, they should be approximately four feet. So I'm looking at 12 feet between these two. So you don't want to have spacing that exceeds four feet. So 
what I'm going to do is let's see if we can use this. And we'll go midpoint. So let's just measure between those two. Okay, so that's six. So let's just do this. Again, if it lets us do it, unfortunately, uh, let's check that out, make sure we're directly on there. It is so for whatever reason, it's not allowing our midpoint there. That's okay. Um, I'm just going to quickly measure here, and that's six foot three inches. So if you divide that by two, that's going to be. Three feet, one point five inches. Oh, okay. Three feet, one point five inches. Okay. Let's do something similar over here. Now when we place our uh, post, we want to make sure on each end, make sure you make that into a component, otherwise you'll end up with some pretty peculiar things happening to it. I should try to move it. So let's grab that, we're going to swing on over with that. And these are going to be placed initially at the end. Let's grab, drop it off here, and we're going to stick it right in that corner. So if you grab by the corner, it's going to intersect that corner. It's a lot easier. So let's grab this. We're going to populate our underneath. Okay. Now let's. So for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm just going to finish this one. Okay. So we know that's 16. So you're going to put about four more in there. Approximately. So if you want, there's a few ways you can do it. If you want to be ultra precise, you can get your measuring tape out. And we could just go, let's go four feet. That's going to make a mark. And we're going to place it right at the mark. Obviously, in between here, it's going to be greater than four feet. The whole key to the spacing is you don't want a space greater than four feet. Here's a smaller if it's 3.5 or something like that. Um, just keep that in mind. So if you want to just go here, and there you go. You've got some good spacing. So just repeat that method for the rest of the uh, deck. Uh, 